Overwatch Anniversary Remix. I think this is probably the last event we have for Overwatch 1. Um, I don't see us getting another event if this is going to August 30th. They, I could see us going all of September with nothing, and then October 4th the game launches. So, uh, this could be the last event in the history of Overwatch 1. So, I think my camera's in the way, so I'm going to close it real quick. Uh, week 1, Tracer. Week 2, Symmetra. Week 3, Hanzo. Uh, we can get a closer look at them here in a sec. Also, uh, I think you can also get like a Twitch loot box if you have Twitch Prime. Uh, how do I know this? Uh, Twitch might have reached out to me to do a quick sponsorship. Uh, but this isn't the sponsor segment. This is just like me letting you know in advance that there could be a sort like a ad read in like a week or two about this. But like, I'm just letting you know now. So, <laughs> um, anyways, if you end up seeing that link, click on it. It helps me out. Thanks. Uh, anyways, all right. New skins. First up, Baptiste. Okay. I like it. I actually... Wait. Okay. These are supposed to be, like, recolorings, right? Or... I don't remember him having, like, a... A visor like this. Is this, like, completely new? Like, this looks kind of new, no? Or is it a recolor? Oh, it is a reskin? Okay. Listen, I, I know they're supposed to be... Oh, oh, it's Spec Ops! Okay, you're right. Sorry, my bad. I don't. I didn't remember. I, this is like a very um, sp specific, like eyewear visor, and I thought I would remember that, but I'm just dumb apparently. Anyways, uh, here's his gun. Not bad. Not bad. Next up, Varsity Diva. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I like this a lot. I, I like the green hair. It actually. I'm trying to think who she reminds me of. Fuck. It definitely reminds me of someone from... Uh, this is going to sound super generic, but from some anime. I, I know it sounds stupid generic, but I just woke up. Leave me alone. Blaster. Yeah, I like this skin a lot. This is actually really good. Ooh, Genji Man. Okay, uh, okay, maybe I'm just dumb, but is this just Power Ranger? <laughs> this just looks like a Power Ranger. I'm just gonna keep it with you, dude. This is just straight up some Power Ranger shit. Uh, but you know what? I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm down with the... I'm down with the Red Ranger. Alright, not bad. Next, Mechatron. Uh, ooh. Different strokes for different folks. Definitely not my favorite, though. Maybe a decent helmet. Not a big fan of that one. Uh, okay, can't win them all. Protus, Protus 76. You know, you might think this one's like a little boring, but it's very clean. Um, I mean, this might be a giveaway from my like Twitch colors, but I'm actually a big fan of black and gold. I think it's a great color scheme. So maybe I'm a little bit biased, but it's very... I actually think this is very clean. Maybe not like the most exciting, but very clean color scheme. I like it. Tagged. Is this the... Hold on, I have to sneeze. Um... This is like, uh, this is the paintball one, right? This is the paintball one reskinned. I remember this was like, I remember the paintball skin was like the Tracer skin for so long. I like this a lot. Yeah, it is. Oh man, I remember, oh God. Okay, maybe like really quick, like throwback into the time machine. But if you remember like 2017, 2018, like before GOATS, like, peak Overwatch clips, like, you'd always have, like, your Kabaji, like, you know, like, montages or whatever, right? They always ran this skin. This was, like, this was, like, okay, you know if you play, like, Apex or other games, there's, like, certain skins you look out for, like, holy shit, that guy's good. Like, like, I don't know what it is, but there's, like, this mental thing where it's, like, if you see someone has, like, a specific skin, you're, like, that guy knows what he's doing. This was, like, the Tracer version, is if you saw a Tracer running this skin, you were, like, uh-oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> like we're you're gonna be a little bit uh, a little bit careful here. Uh, and then this is the Overwatch League skin. Uh, I don't think I actually covered this in a video, but mostly because it was only one skin, and I don't think it was. Uh, actually, I might have. I don't know. Uh, we've been pretty down on content. Uh, season 36 competitor, and then this is the top 500 one. Oh, that's actually a decent top 500 one. Too bad. Uh, I think you just need to be like 3800 to get top 500. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Maybe I'm wrong here. But. Okay, it says, join the party in the remix, tag Tracer, Varsity, Diva, get Genji more weekly rewards and play all your favorite seasonal brawls. Okay. I know I did it at the beginning, but... Wait, because there's supposed to be a Symmetra one. Where's the Symmetra one? Wait, what? Wait, we're missing... Oh! Okay, this is actually low-key kind of important. I just saw this. So, <clears throat> uh, pay attention. Uh, earn and purchase anniversary loot boxes through the event. Each loot box is a chance to contain the past anniversary and seasonal events. Don't wait too long to snag those skins as you've been eyeing for the past year, though. Loot boxes will be no longer available for sale after the anniversary remix event volume three on August 30th. So if you're someone who actually buys loot boxes, sorry, but I don't know anybody that buys loot boxes. This game's been over for six years. But if you are somebody that buys loot boxes, uh, you can no longer buy loot boxes after August 30th. So, that's that's actually kind of nuts. Um, past missions will be Uprising Story, Uprising All Heroes, Retribution, Retribution All Heroes, Storm Rising, Storm Rising All Heroes. Maybe we can try to see if we can get the gang together to get the achievements in those. Um, some of the game types, Molten Core, gas, Glass Cannon, Surgical Strike, Close Quarters, Blood Moon Rising, Storm Rising, uh, Lucio Ball, Lucio Ball Remix. I'd love to play Lucio Ball, but apparently if you're over... 3900 in regular SR and Overwatch, you can't three stack in Lucio Ball, um, which I think is the worst thing of all time. But, anyways, um, oh, it looks like they're just like brought everything back. Holy hell. Okay, so here it is. So it didn't show in game for some reason, but here's the weekly events. So, week one will be Comic Book Tracer, which, by the way, if you haven't got Comic Book Tracer, it's highly worth it. Uh, when you melee, it goes pow, pow. Like, it makes, like, comic book noises, which is great. Um, week two is the Symmetra skin. Uh, and week three is Kienza Hanzo. So, yeah. Anyways. That is the uh, Overwatch Anniversary Remix event and likely our last event for Overwatch 1.